guys, it's me, and today we're gonna be watching a true story animation about a girl whose mom is a big fat liar. Everyone has secrets, right? I know I do, but I doubt there's anyone out there that has as many secrets as my parents. It all started at my 10th birthday party when two people rocked up and spilled the beans on the first dark secret my parents had been hiding from me. Oh, I thought somebody literally like walked up and was like, oops, oh no, there goes my can of honey baked beans. Finally, my parents had agreed to let me throw the princess party of my dreams. I was going to one of the best all-girl private schools in the country. And every time someone's birthday rolled around, we'd compete to throw the best party. So this year, I knew I'd win because my parents had gone all out and even rented an actual unicorn. I hate to ruin this for some of y'all. They just popped the horn onto a regular pony. Boom. Unicorn. Besides ruining that for you, life seems good. Obviously, it was a horse with a horn, but you get the picture. Plus, my house was an actual mansion, and I knew all the girls would be jealous when they saw it. And yep, I was right. Everyone was impressed. Is this what it's like growing up with a nice house? My friend had a nice house, and she would always talk about how big and expensive her house is. And I'm just sitting here like, taking the long way home so nobody sees where I live. Except Bella. I'd only invited Bella because she was the most popular girl in our class. But when she gave me my gift, I regretted ever inviting her. She handed it over with a smirk. And when I opened it, she said, surprise, my mommy didn't believe you actually lived in a mansion because you smell so bad. So she thought maybe you could do with some soap. <laughs> Here's some soap because you're stinky, 10 year old me. <laughs> Birthday ruined! Suddenly, a car came revving up the driveway. It was the old couple who lived next door to us who worked for my parents. They made such a scene and started screaming at my parents, saying it wasn't okay to have a party without their permission. And why hadn't they been invited? My parents sat me down and told me they had something to tell me. Turns out the mansion didn't belong to us. In actual fact, the old couple owned it, and they didn't work for my parents. Nope. My parents worked for them. What? Why would you even lie to your kid about something like that? But again, the whole point is my mother is a liar. I'm like, do these employees just roll up and be like, y'all really having a party? Oh, but without inviting me. Calm down, Karen. It's my 10 year old's birthday party. Y'all expected like Coachella or something. Then they told me that the only reason I went to that rich girl school was because the old couple paid for it. I was so mad at my parents. They were so ashamed and kept apologizing to me saying they just wanted me to have the life I deserved. Word got out quickly, and Bella made my life hell. One day I got to school, and she was standing outside with a box that said, Money for the Poor, aka Sasha. I feel like when you're getting bullied like this, like somebody give you a soap and be like, Oh, you stinky. Oh, let's raise money for her because she's poor. Instead of crying about it, be like, Okay, free money. Thanks. And then bully's gonna be like, Oh no, why didn't she get upset? Why isn't she crying? It's not working. I'm just gonna stop bullying because there's no point. I immediately went to find my BFF, and told her I was feeling suspicious. Even she agreed that it didn't make sense that my parents were poor because she'd seen my dad out in a Porsche before and my mom had all those fancy clothes. I started investigating. Anytime my parents were working, I'd snoop around in their room. My BFF was right. They had so many expensive things. I went to look for the old woman, but I heard her shouting and then I heard someone respond. She was shouting at my dad. She said, you're putting their lives in danger. I don't want you living under this roof anymore. I am so confused right now. Like her parents are rich. They're pretending to be poor. Are those her grandparents or something? What is this ginormous secret that you are hiding from the public? I decided I had to speak to my dad. Instead, I found a note that said, you'll both be better off without me. Sorry, girls. I ran to wake up my mom and told her and she just started screaming. I was too young to know what to do. So I went straight to the old couple's house and asked them to come help. This was all their fault. I thought the old couple would be upset. After all, who would do their gardening now? <laughs> oh, our gardener, he's gone? Who will pull our weeds? Who will water our ficuses? Oh, I mean your dad. Oh, that sucks, man. I'm gonna keep an eye on you because y'all old people sus. Daddy sus. Maybe he don't want to be in a family business of liars. The old woman started laughing and said she'd been waiting for this moment for years. How could she talk about my dad like that? The old couple started comforting my mom and I wanted them to get off her. Why was my mom even letting them hug her? And then she told me something that sent my whole body into shock. They said now that my dad was gone, we could come live in the big house where we belonged. Then my mom just lost it. She pushed them away and said, Mom, will you just leave me alone? I couldn't believe it. Mom? But my mom had told me my grandparents had passed away years ago. I knew it. She got grandma vibes right there. She kind of looked like her mom too. And the dude, he just looked like a cyborg. That dude grand buff. Eventually, she agreed for us to move into the big house with her parents. You'd think I'd be happy now that I finally got to live in the mansion like a real princess, right? But it was horrible. My grandparents told me how my dad had gotten my mom pregnant when she was really young and they didn't approve of him or his family. 
So the only way they could be together was if they worked for my grandparents. What? What? So you see, mother is rich. The rich parents, they don't like the new guy. They're like, okay, you know what? You can come live with us in the mansion. You can marry our daughter. You can have a child. We pay for everything, but you gotta be the gardener. But I ain't never watered a plant in my life. But I do know my way around these hoes. Bella soon found out that I was actually rich and not just some gardener's kid. And suddenly she wanted to be my friend again. Her grandmother was friends with my grandmother, and she knew so much about what was going on, it made me sick. She told everyone at school that my dad had run away, but that it was okay because now I got to live in the mansion again. And she expected me to want to be her friend? Yeah, right. Instead, I left a bar of soap on her desk with a note that said, Use this to wash your mouth out. Huh, served her right. So there I was, a rich kid like I'd always thought I was, but with no dad. A few years passed, and still we never heard from him. I hate to break it to you, but I think daddy is dead. They got rid of him, buried his body in the garden. I haven't watched this, but that's just what I think. The older I got, the more I felt like there was something else going on too. It bothered me how much my mom was fine with it. Oh, who knows? When you grow up, so do your graphics. She went from zero budget cartoon to an anime character. But I started to feel like someone was following me. One day, I was walking home from school with my BFF and we heard a rustling sound in the bushes. She just started running and left me there all alone. So I ducked behind a parked car and waited for my stalker to catch up to me. Gotcha! It ended up being a little old lady and she almost fell over. I felt so bad and ran to help her and apologized. But she said it was okay and that I'd better hurt home but she was staring at me in a really creepy way though who said grandmas can't be stalkers anybody no i didn't think so about a week later i was sitting in the park and the stalker turned up it was the old lady from the week before she turned to me and said i've been looking for you sasha Ooh, this was crazy how did she know my name she told me there was something of mine she wanted to show me and asked me to follow her. But she said I had to be quick or they might see us together. Bro, who might see us? The FBI? There is so much going on here. But she had taken hold of my hand and for such a little old woman, she was seriously strong. Plus, she seemed harmless, even if she had been following me and knew my name. We climbed into a car and she told the driver to hurry. Step one, never get into a car with a stranger. You should know this. I asked her what she wanted with me and she said I'd soon find out, but I didn't find out. The car came to a stop and I opened the door to climb out, but suddenly someone grabbed me and said that the old woman was dangerous and I needed to go with them quickly. It all happened so fast, I didn't have time to think. Then I noticed my grandfather was in the back of the other car and I got in beside him. The old woman was standing outside the house shouting and as I looked back, I swear I saw my dad's face in the window. <gasps> What is going on here? Daddy is with the old lady. Is that his mother? Is that her grandma? But they say she dangerous. What secrets are y'all trying to keep? I asked my grandfather what was going on and he said that the old woman was crazy and had been following me. I then asked my grandfather to tell me where my dad was and he said he was gone and it was better that way. Oh, so he's alive. It sounded like he was dead, buried, scattered around the property and y'all had just forgotten about him, moved on. I was going to take matters into my own hands and go there and find out what was going on once and for all. The next day, I went to school as usual and told my BFF to cover for me. I told her I wouldn't be long, but that if anyone asked, just to tell them I was sick and had gone to the clinic. I snuck out after our first class and tried my best to remember the way to the house I'd seen my dad in. How was an 11 year old gonna manage all of this? When I was 11, I could barely manage to figure out what bus I could go on to go home. Here you are, going through the city, walking by yourself, no one gonna say nothing, nobody gonna report her to the police, like lost child over here. Couldn't believe I might get to see my dad again after all these years. Oh, never mind, she said all these years. She's probably like 15, 16. Okay, but still. I finally arrived at the house and it didn't look like anyone was home, but still I knocked. When no one answered, I started to get nervous. I ran around to the other side of the house and started shouting, Dad! Suddenly, he appeared at the back door and grabbed me quickly and brought me inside. I couldn't stop hugging him and he was crying. It felt so good to see him again. Then he told me I'd better get back to school before anyone realized I'd snuck out. And then I noticed all the photos on the walls. Photos of my dad and another woman and two kids. Did my dad have a secret family? He saw me looking around and he said it wasn't what it looked like. Then what is it? You got a whole entire secret family going on on the side. I mean, the kids are young. Or maybe that's why they kicked him out. I'm I so ran confused. for the door, and then I noticed the old lady coming down the stairs. She looked so happy to see me, but I just ran right out the door. I started running down the street, and that car pulled up again. This time, my mom jumped out and told me to get in. I was so happy to see her, but I couldn't stop crying and asked if she knew that dad was cheating on her. 
Suddenly, the other door opened and my dad climbed in. I told him to get away from us, but both my parents just told me to calm down and that I was old enough to know now. My dad is an undercover agent. Yup, he's a spy. Everything he's done so far is to protect us. My grandparents were really not happy about it because there had been some scary situations over the years. So that's why he'd left us. But he wasn't living with some other family. He was living with his mom, who just happened to be the old woman who stalked me. She had been looking for me because she couldn't bear to see her son so unhappy without being able to see me. So daddy is a secret agent, a spy. I wonder does he happen to be Russian? Oh, and the pics of the other woman and kids were his sister and her kids. Oh my God, I had cousins. Then I thought to myself, how come they weren't crying at seeing each other again? Well, looks like they'd kept another secret too. This whole time they'd been sneaking behind my back seeing each other. Oh, I thought her mom was like crying herself to sleep. But no, they're just sneaking out. Is this necessary? Like y'all are adults. Do you have to do this? I mean, if it's part of the job. I'm still processing it all. It's a lot for a kid to take me in. Me too. I'm but it does kind of make too. me laugh. Can you imagine what Bella would say if she knew my dad was a spy? Now who's a loser? My cool status just went way up. If you're a spy, can you like not tell your kids like, hey, mommy, daddy work for the government. We spies. No, because they're going to go snitch. They're going to be like, oh yeah, mommy and daddy, they're spies. I think you tell your kids you do something else. Like, I'm an accountant. Nobody asks you what you do when you say that you're an accountant. I won't be telling anyone. Let's just say I'm a pro at keeping secrets now. So mommy and daddy lied to her for a good reason. Here I was the whole time thinking they just had some problems. Like, yeah, mommy has a lying problem, but nope. All right, well, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button the face. Comment below if you guessed what was going to happen or you had no idea the whole time like me. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.